Okay, welcome back to another Tips and Tricks. This one's going to be specifically on Nuke. I got 10 tips and tricks compiled from my streams and stuff into this one video. Uh, as before, you know, let me know if you guys have any critiques, anything I can improve on in these Tips and Tricks videos. Uh, anyways, let's, let's get right into the video. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, one thing I saw Tabson doing a lot as, like, the outside player. If, like, if you're playing against a team that's, like, late taking outside a lot, you can, like, hold on to all this control by jump spotting credit right here. You just jump spot like this. You spot Marsh, and you spot... You know, CT by Tetris, you can watch the walkout. And then you're also like a pretty fast rotate to A site through mini right here if they end up do hitting enter. So that's like, that's something I saw Tabson do a lot. It's just like if he's come outside, you know, he'd molly Tetris deep here and then comes over here and it's like, oh shit, no one's out. Okay. And then you just come back here and just fall into like this jump spot and then jump spot them. And then, you know, if they end up do coming outside and they, I don't know, smoke secret, throw slash, you can always just come back into garage to eventually watch their rap mini. Or you can end up falling back to yard, waiting for like their uh, their push towards yard control. Some deep angles like this. And then if they end up do, you know, taking garage control as your yard, then you can even fall back further. And then go into like something like forklift and some like nutty ass offing. I'll watch the walk up right here just to stop them from getting into heaven. You watch like the wrap to heaven. Um, oh, another thing too. Another thing too for nuke. Okay, this is something I see like every outside player do that I've watched so far. It's like always phase three of a round, like the last 30 seconds. The outside player will regress and he will clear out outside. And the reason for this is that like, if you regress outside like the last 30 seconds of the round and there's no one here, it, like then you can end up like stacking A site because they're probably going to hit A. Like if they haven't taken outside until like phase three, then it's just too late for them to like late take outside and then do anything with it. Because if they try and late take outside and go down secret, even full on sprinting, they're going to like probably run out of time. And if they late take outside and like walk it, like to come out mini like they're probably gonna have like eight seconds left so it's like i see like every outside player always re-aggress if he's garage he'll re-aggress and clear outside and then like rotate to heaven if he's yard you know he's like like all in a really passive angle he'll re-aggress in the last 30 seconds clear out yard and then just come heaven you always want to clear this out in the phase three because like because if like if you don't clear out phase three chances are in phase three they're gonna hit a anyways you don't want to get caught off so far away from the site with like a slow ass rotate might as well be there so just like as an outside player, you should like low key just always regress phase three. Uh, that's, that's just like what I see a lot. An angle I saw taps and run that he was holding is like back here. If they already threw like secret smokes or whatever, slash smokes. If you just sit back here and hold the cross, it seems like you're just exposed as fuck. But you can watch like the walkout. No one pre aims this. Like you're so deep. Like this is where you're peeking from. No one's going to be aiming at that. They're going to be looking yard by the time they can see you. And then plus from this angle right here, that's like you're thinking like, oh, what about Marsh? Like usually if someone's Marsh, they're not coming like all the way out here to peek you there like no one usually comes out there they usually come out here peek this peek this and then they'll drop mini you're pretty safe from that like even if someone drops mini your teammates will calm that they dropped if someone drops mini too they're not going to be like pre-aiming this angle up here like you're in this like weird ass off angle that you can like you know easily flick to them and kill them it's a, it's a it's a it's a pretty strange angle but it it's actually like it, it works yeah uh, all right so this is a uh, this is smoke i've been seeing more common it's just like the the front mini smoke right here it's, it's like the first smoke of slash or the first smoke of like eye smokes it's this one right here and i believe the smoke just like replaces this red smoke here it gives you more space it blocks uh you know your cross from garage if they want to hold you from garage they have to stand in the middle to open it blocks vision from mini close mini they can see over it from credit like this but it still gives you uh lurk options to get at least to africa so if you want like a cheap way to default outside i call this dot smoke you just smoke this off there's one from spawn there's this one right here i just showed and there's also a lineup from spawn right it was like right here yeah so it lands like that uh yeah just be aware they can boost over it from uh credit on top of gray box right here so careful crossing if you have the smoke down yeah if you're lobby defaulting you can just like come here make sure these glasses are broken and you can just do like uh Nay damage, the guy crossing silo. In the middle of the railing. Aim right here, you run jump throw. Boom, it hits the guy crossing, and then you can just run from here to black top and hold your uh hold the hut push. Yeah, uh, a quick thing, if you're ever doing like eye smokes or L smokes, just like oh, this is eye smokes if you don't know. This is L smokes if you add a garage smoke to it. If you're ever doing this, a simple play you can make is just to walk through the smoke to credit. And there's a good chance no one sees you. Do this walkthrough, like if they're heaven, kinda hard to see here. If they're ice box, they can see you. Sometimes the smoke will land better where it's not too far off and you can just walk through and just find a kill on someone just sitting here. It's a nice little like solo play you can make. Speaking of solo plays too, if you're ever doing slash smokes, I've seen this fight. A fight you can take is to get flashed through 
and someone flashes garage and you come here swing into garage so you're safe from yard and then just take a, a fight on the guy mini because usually the, the guy mini will see the slash smokes come down because he's not really not worried about like a run through especially if you're like walking it so if these smokes are down have your teammate flash for you you go through swing mini take a fight on the guy here if no one's here then you can turn around and fight garage because the whole reason that flash is to blind the garage guy so you can kill mini because you can't blind mini like all the time so you come here swing guy behind you is blind if you don't see anything then you turn around and then you fight the guy back here nice little fight you could take i th i think we call this play mezzi on our team that's just the the code word we use for it there's also a, a nuke back sight gimmick you can run i saw phase do this where you'll molly out top silo and then you double he back sight and this is just like this is good at, like i said on your lobby defaults if you just are all lobby and you plan on not starting you know taking outside off of spawn if you all are starting lobby, you can go for like this gimmicky nade stack play. And the idea is that you molly top silo to push any CTs off back here. They drop and then the double HEs come in, land right here. The way to line this all up, let me see if I get this right first try. Molly, you come here, aim here, run, jump throw. This will land off the, the roof, land top silo. And then from that same position, you just strafe to your right like this. Line up at the bottom of the window and then you run, jump throw. And this will nade back sight. And then for the other nade, you can just come right here. Have another guy sit, set up right here. Like aim here at the door and then he run jump throw. And this will land also back sight. Molly, double HE, and you'll probably get a kill on the guy back sight. If you want to rush, these are, uh, if you're rushing squeaky, these are some really good flashes. Right there, lands on the Raptors. It doesn't blind your team, it's coming out through squeaky. So if you're like the, the guy who's mollying roof, you just come here. That glass should have been broken. You come here, molly roof, come over here, jump on the pipe, and then you throw these flashes. You can just spam them and they won't blind your teammates. That's good for squeaky rushes. If you're doing a hut rush, you just come here and you know your majority of your teammates are coming out hut. You can just throw flashes exactly like the, the molly. Like that. And those will land in this area and they won't blind your teammates coming out as they swing sight. So those are like the two options you have for ru uh, rush flashes. Switch them up based on uh, where your teammates going, squeaky or, or hut. Yeah, uh, decent play I saw. You know, you throw like your outside shit. Fake the outside presence, throw smokes, have some guys sell it, e Molly's red, flash is high. But uh, in my head, I'm always like thinking like defaults and executes. Contacts are also valid as fuck, man. And a contact you run is just a hut contact where you just like, you throw your outside shit, everyone comes here and they just come out here and you just peek the guy back sight. And then if he's not here, then you guys just walk it close and then just fucking run out. You just run out dry. Like just a hut contact is low-key decent as fuck on nuke. Every time I've called it so far, it's worked. You can add this to your like strat book if you're an IGL. You know, your little call options, fake outside, go to hut contact, early as fuck. It works out really well, like phase one. I don't know exactly the reason for this yet. I do think this is why though. So I saw this, this was big, I was watching. I don't know who the ramp player is on big, but he came down here at the start of the round, just broke glass and then came back up. Like, you know, he like, he comes here, throws like the usual stuff, smoke, molly, drop, jump down here, broke glass and then came back up. And I think the idea for this is that like, if you break glass early, Anyone ramp is going to hear that and they're going to be like, oh, someone, you know, starting secret through ramp. So that's like some false information that they're coming. That's one of the ideas. And then also, I think if the T's go down secret and like, you know, ramps like first rotate, if you have someone heaven, he, he can come down here and actually push into double and without having to break the glass after the, the T's are already down. So it won't give up the silent cue. So like one thing you could do is just like break the glass off of spawn. Another thing I saw too is nading the double door. I think you need like this and this will blow up only one of the doors so you can jump spot and then also because one of the doors is blown you can just watch their cross to control you you like have unlimited angles to uh watch their cross to control like it's literally like impossible for them to cross unless they smoke for that cross it's like yeah i'd be curious what's the difference between blowing the left door and the right door i don't know if you guys have any reasons for that i think the right door makes this so the opera can hold it from ramp oh okay so what's the point of only blowing one door then Let's see if they won't see the door is blown so yeah i guess if you blow the deeper door like here and not this one when the t's come down they will see the back door before they see the close one and assume the door's not blown until they get closer and the door's gone t swing is a single door you have to adjust your crosshair less on average oh because there's like less i see what you mean a less uh you don't have to worry about this versus worrying about all of that. It'll clog up their, uh, it'll clog them up. Like if they try to run through the door versus like having to worry about all this area, then they'll just have to worry about. All right, that's the end of the video, y'all. Uh, I'm gonna try and experiment with combining, you know, a bunch of tips and tricks in from different maps and then, and then a bunch of tips and tricks from like one map like this video. You guys let me know what you think of either video, type of video, and I'm gonna try and cater to you guys. So and make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and peace out.